Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to apply conditional self-formatting in financial modeling in a few different areas. This video firstly will cover financial modeling in terms of outputs for currencies, flexing the unit output and thirdly for flexing the input cell. In this first example I'm going to show you how to apply conditional self-formatting to change the reporting currency in some output cells. In this example, we're firstly going to create a drop-down list from data validation from these four currencies, Euro, Pounds, Japanese Yen and US Dollars. Then we will create this match function which will drive the conditional cell formatting in terms of its ability to flex based on this drop-down list. We now go into our outputs, this simple discounted cash flow, and create, select our output cells as per so. Remembering to select all cells in order to affect the conditional cell formatting. We create a new rule by referring to that cell H13 in our assumptions worksheet. Selecting on format cells custom Firstly selecting Euros because when that cell is 1 we want our outputs to flex to Euros. Then if our sterling if our value is 2 for sterling we need to be able to reflect this. So again go into conditional cell formatting. and specify this. And once we apply this, we can see that our outputs are now reporting in pounds. However, we need to reflect still uh, Japanese Yen and US Dollars. Hence we need to create two more rules. Firstly the Japanese Yen where that H13 cell in assumptions equals 3 and reflecting this as Yen And finally, if the output is 4, we need to specify that in US dollars. Strong attention to detail is imperative to make this work. So we can now test our conditional cell formatting, firstly in Euros, and we have successfully achieved this. Our outputs are in Euros, Japanese Yen, fantastic, and finally in US dollars. In the second video I'm going to show you the two other areas, units and formatting the input cell.